father's house to the land that I will show you. And Sarai left Ur, but they brought Lot. They just had some lunch. <laughs> they reviewed some of the animal cell here. And they've been working on a store. Let me see what you got. Okay, so look how cool on. Cameron, we, I think I showed you the guys this before, but this Bible was already kind of ripped when we got it. We got it from someone else and the cover came off. So Cameron drew on a new cover. So isn't that so cool? So this was his new cover that he drew onto the Bible. Okay. Okay, let me show you my stuff. Okay, so they, oh, I didn't show you guys this. So how cool is this? So for school, we're gonna start working on fractions. Okay, so how many slices of pizza are there here? Nine. Nine, nine slices of pizza. Wait, to... Nine, yeah. Nine, nine slices of pizza. And this is one slice of nine, right? Mm -hmm. So this is one ninth, one Ninth, and I'm gonna show you what that looks like, okay? So, we'll probably start working on fractions, but not for really pretend. How cool! Okay, what else is going in your store? Well, I don't have that is not what you're supposed to be using that for. <laughs> I don't have a lot of people who came to where this came from. I didn't come to your store, okay? Okay, bear, what you got going on here? Mm, I sell food so they don't have to pay any money, you know. Oh, you don't, okay, so you don't sell food. You're giving it away. Yes, I do sell food. Okay, so how, where is the food that you sell? Uh, it's right here. What but is that, I'm missing bud? the bag. It's what the, is it? It's the box, the play box. box. Oh, <laughs> okay. Oh, so those are nuggets? And fries. Yeah, the little ones. Okay. The these, oh no, strips. these are strips. Okay, those are strips. Mm -hmm. Okay, and where do we buy these? What is this? Oh, that's my Chick-fil-A store. Okay, so you yeah, bought a Chick-fil-A store. Okay. Let me see, what do you have on your menu here? Okay, so this is Chick-fil-A. And he, this is his menu. As you can see, I think we go to Chick-fil-A a little too much. Do we go to Chick-fil-A a little too much? <laughs> this was kind of like your pizza pie, right? This was your pizza pie. The pizza, don't laugh at my drawing. Don't laugh at my drawing, Cameron. Okay. Why would I do this? Why would you laugh at my drawing? I don't know. This is called a fraction. Take out another slice of pizza. Okay, so this is our second slice of pizza. There we go. Okay. So we got back on track to talking about our fractions here and I explained to him all the way up until nine ninths and that nine ninths equals one whole pie. So then we went on to another pie here and I asked Cameron if I eat one slice of this pie, what would that represent? And he said one Fourth of the pie. Okay, it's five. working. Um, wait, wait, <laughs> so of course you know I'm extra wait. and I did like a super happy day. For you. Um, <laughs> yes, I oh. Cameron, there's Cameron. If I ate one more slice of this pizza pie. Oh, oh, two fourths. Two fourths. Good job. So yeah, now we'll just introduce that and anytime it comes up anywhere throughout our days, then I can just reference what we talked about today. And it's really hard to show how we learn most of the things that we learn because they're so random and organic. But I'm gonna try. <laughs> because most of the times the things that I highlight on our homeschool channel are things that yes we learn that way but the majority of what we're learning is stuff that we learn in this way and it really pretty much just comes up from things that they are working on on their own yeah hope that made sense <laughs> school today um, but I wanted to see how we were gonna naturally fall into our lessons 
and I've been giving the kids little prompts, just letting them know that they're gonna have to complete their work at some point in time. So I can hear Cameron. He just got his computer and he wants to go get started on his work. He's such a good kid. Ask yourself, what do the characters do to solve their problem? We see the character get a balloon. And what happens in the middle? That's right, our friend is floating away. Uh-oh, that's a problem. It's solved. He is safe on the ground again. As you can see, he is doing his time for learning lesson. I just wanted to say something about that really quickly. I am not a, like, number one fan of the prompts. Um, I do believe that kids naturally learn to pick up on the, um, the purpose of stories or uh, the context in which stories are told. Um, I'm not a 100% fan of a lot of the questions that don't promote them to think on their own, but I'm also not against it. Um, I think my kids do a lot of thinking on their own and I give them a lot of space to kind of explore what things mean to them using their minds naturally without having prompts but i don't think there's anything wrong with also having prompts i feel like for us in our school it's like a balance between having a genuine understanding and then also being able to answer questions if they're being asked of you so i feel like that there's a balance there for us in our school and i'm fine with it and I feel like that a lot of times when you're learning um, about schooling and the different um, ideals of what true education is supposed to be, sometimes a lot of times you'll have people that are totally against um, the prompts, the questions, and they say that it doesn't allow them to think for themselves. And, and parts of that is very true, but why does it have to be all one extreme or all another? I guess that's where I am so anyway so that's why I like time for learning because they do do the prompts and ask the questions and they do need to be able to um, understand how to answer those questions if asked but um, we also start off by gathering an organic understanding just giving them space to see what they are capable of and let their minds do the work first and then I introduce things that ask questions or give them prompts um, for writing and stuff like that. I hope that made sense. Um, I'm not the best at explaining stuff but I um, think I'm getting my point across. Hey, how can I help you? Um, I would like to see if I could get a pizza. Um, I'm looking for maybe one large pepperoni pizza please. We're at Pizza Hut you guys. There you go. Oh thank okay. you. What did you say? Here you go. Have a nice day. Oh, thank you so what much. About the money? What about the money exchange? So Brian reminded me that I had made some money for the kids, like back in the beginning, beginning of homeschool, and I totally forgot about it. You really got lots of so money. I had this no, money. No. I have to see if I can figure out where. Here, this is your. I have to see if I can figure out where I got them from. I printed them out, laminated okay, them, and cut them. Well, I have to see if I can figure out where I got them from. But that was a labor of love. But now they can actually use them. So I had 10, 20s, 5s, and lots and lots of ones. <laughs> You can visit our blog at serenabblog.com backslash homeschool, our Instagram at serenab, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!